Hey you guys, it's Janice Wilson Hughes here in my Evolution Stoneware Pottery Studio and today I have a quick tutorial for you on how to make these cool spiral soap dishes. Alright, you ready to do this? I've got just under a pound of clay here. The clay is pretty stiff, so this may be a little bit of a pain center. Cone up, compress down, and I want to get this pretty wide. So one thing that you want to think about with this soap dish is the size of soap that you think you or your customers will be using with it. And it makes sense to look at some bars of soap, honestly. Like, look at your typical bar of bath soap or look at your typical bar of artisanal soap. They're pretty big. And so your circle or your disc that you need to flatten down actually needs to be fairly big, bigger than you might think initially. So you want to get this pretty wide. I'm going to go with something like this. And let me get a measurement for you just so that you can get an idea. Don't drop the ruler. <laughs> okay. So we're looking at about five and a quarter inches here. Once you get your clay flattened out, nice and centered, even thickness, this is about a half inch thick. Drop a little trough here on the outside edge. We want to make an outer wall that stands up and will catch any water and prevent it from just spilling out of your soap dish. So you want to have a nice little side wall here. Once you get that open, let's go ahead and slow the wheel down. And pull this wall up. Just like that. Let me clean this up just a little bit. And get the water out. I might even flare this out just a little bit to get it out of the way. Now, pretty easy so far, right? No big deal, eh? Now we want to put our spiral in the center, and I like to use a simple craft stick, like a popsicle stick, to do this. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So once you start this, you need to commit, and you need to finish your spiral. So what we're going to do is press in the middle, and pull this out to the side, creating a spiral in our soap dish. Let me just zoom in here for a moment. I've been making these for, I don't know, about 10 years. And it started as a class project for my uh, wheel class. And I thought, you know, this will be pretty straightforward, but it can be a little tricky the first couple that you make. So you want to get the wheel going pretty slow. 
And if you want to, you can trim, just use a sharp pair of scissors to trim your craft stick into a little bit of a point. Or you can just leave it blunt, however you want. I'm going to use the pointy end right now. So I'm going to get the wheel going very slowly. It's a little easier to control this way. So here we go. You're going to press in. Be sure you don't press through to the bottom. Leave enough that you can trim your bottom if you wish. And then just begin to pull out. So here we go. All right, pretty good. Now, I will warn you that this works much better with a clay that hasn't been overworked. So if you're using reclaimed clay, you might have a little bit of a harder time getting a nice consistent um, texture here on your spiral versus if you're using new clay. Now we want to clean up the spiral a little bit. I'll just use a wet sponge here. Lightly run along one edge. And then I'll come back inside and catch the other edge. And your first couple may end up being a little bit rough and if that's the case and you need to do a fair amount of smoothing, I would recommend not to do a ton while the clay is very wet because it's pretty easy to mess it up. So if you wait a little bit, let the clay set up some, you may have better luck. That's basically it. You want to make sure you get all of the water out of your grooves. So you'll want to come in here and Make sure that your rim is smooth and keep in mind this will probably stand up a little bit after it's fired or after as it's drying. You want to do a nice undercut under the edge here. See that in itself stood the rim up just a little bit so let me flatten that down a little bit again. I know there's, I think a couple years ago, I saw another potter doing one uh, with just concentric rings. And I think that's super cool too. It never occurred to me to do it that way. I always just did the spiral myself. So try some different things. These are really fun. They make great gifts. And especially if you include a cool bar of soap with it too, that can make really nice presents for just about anyone at least any grown-up. So when you fire these, you see my example pieces, I fired glass frit down in the grooves just to add a little extra visual flair. But all you need to do in order to do that is glaze your piece and then add in the frit and Fire it as you would a normal glaze firing. All right, let's go ahead and trim this soap dish now. I'm using my Giffen grip here to hold the soap dish on the wheel. And the first thing that I wanna do is just round over the outside edge and take off any uneven spots on the bottom surface of the soap dish. With that done, I want to set the width of the foot ring first. I like to do that and then trim toward the middle because I found for me personally, if I start in the middle and work my way to the outer edge, I often get the foot ring a little more narrow than I really wanted it to be. It doesn't seem like it should be that hard, but it happens to me. So I set that width and then work toward the middle. So just work slowly and get the whole bottom smooth with a nice even depth.
Now make sure that the foot ring is nice and smooth and even. You don't want any thing, any hard edges that would scratch the tabletop or countertop where this soap dish is sitting after it's fired. And you want it to look nice too. Now I'll come in with a damp sponge and run it across the whole trimmed surface to clean off any sharper little gouges and run it over with my finger. All right, the trimming is done. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna smooth this top edge there of the foot ring just a little bit with a sponge because I couldn't get to it while trimming. And now it's time to put my stamp on it. So here's my signature stamp. Bloop. And there we go. The soap dishes are done. Hope you guys enjoy this project. These can be really fun to make and they make really great presents. Wishing everyone out there wellness and well-being. Wash your hands. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.